120. 120. Wow. I can't believe we've done 120 of these. You know what's you know anything special about the number 120? Not really. Not really. It's five factorial. You remember what factorial means? Oh yeah. What does it mean? Five exclamation point. Five exclamation point. Five times four times three times two times one. Yeah, that's 120. Okay, so for math for kids today, we're going to do something called the Wasson Selection Test. This is a really neat problem. In fact, I actually didn't know it had a name, uh, but I looked on the internet and it did have a name. So we're going to we're going to do something with some cards. So I'm going to put some cards out in a second. And here's the problem: each card has a number on one side and a color on the other side. Which cards? do you have to turn over to see if this, this statement if a card has an even number on one side then it is red on the other side and we're trying to know if that statement is true or false okay so let me explain it to you again You're, we're gonna have four cards okay you ready to see ready to see these four cards I'm gonna have to check that is this one red? that's red yeah and this is green let's see how they show up then on the camera. I may have to zoom out or something. Or maybe just shift the cards. Okay, so we have four cards. And we're trying to understand the state. Here's the statement. If a card has an even number on one side, then it is red on the other side. So do you understand the statement? Yeah. Tell, repeat it to me. If a number is even on one side. If a card has an even number on one side. Yeah. Okay. Then it is red on the other side. Okay. True or false. Okay, so we're trying to figure out if that statement is true or false. And the question is, in order to determine if that statement is true or false, which cards do we have to turn over? And again, the statement is, if a card has an even number on one side, then it is red on the other side. So, don't turn any cards over. Let's just think about it. Well, the 8 is an even number. Okay. You'd have to turn over. I think you'd have to turn over these two. Well, hold on. Let's do them one at a time. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about eight. Eight's an even number. Eight's an even number. So why do you think you have to turn that one over? To see if it's red. To see if it's red. Okay. So eight we have to turn over to see if it's red. I'm not going to turn it over yet. No, don't turn it over yet. What about the next one? Which what, what one do you want to look at next? We've got four cards. The red. The red. Okay. To turn it over to see if it's even. Why? Because the statement says if there's an if there's an even number on one side of a card, then there, then there's a red number on the other there's side. There's not not a red uh, number. Uh, no, it's uh, red. Uh, okay, but what if there was an odd number on the other side of this? Then 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 the statement would be false. Why? Let's say the number on the other side of this was was eleven. Because it says. It says if there's an even number, then it's red. It so if, if there's an odd number, what is what does our statement say? Then it says if if there's an odd number. Doesn't say anything. Yeah. It doesn't say anything about an odd number. If there so what is our statement true or false if there's an odd number on the other side of this? It would be false. Why why do you think it would be false? Because it says that if if there's an even number on one side, then there's red on the other side. Right. So if there's an odd number on that on the other side of that, what does our or what does our statement say about it that card? It doesn't say anything. About it doesn't that. say anything about that. So we still we still don't know. Right. If you turn this card over, you don't know because if like this card could be an eight and then we'd have a red, that'd be fine, right? Yeah. But if it had a nine on it and the, and a red on the other side, our statement doesn't talk about that. Our our statement only talks about cards with even numbers, and because this is red, we don't care. If this has an odd number, our statement didn't apply. But if it has an even number, it was red anyway. So do we have to turn this card over? No. Well, we do have to turn this. So we do have to turn this one over. What about the five? What about the five? Well, the five. We don't have. We don't have to turn it over because our statement doesn't say anything about with odds with red. Our statement doesn't say anything about odd numbers. And we know this has an odd number. Remember, our statement is if there's an even number, then the other side of the card is red. Okay, so we don't have to turn this one over because our statement doesn't talk about odd numbers. What about this one? This is an interesting one to think about. There's a green one, but even if there's an even number on the side, it doesn't talk about green. 
It doesn't talk about the green. What does our statement talk about? It talks about the red and an even number. Okay, so what if there's an even number on the other side of that green? There's an even no if there's an even number on one side of the card, then there's a red on the other side of the card. Okay. So what if what if there's an even number on the other side of that green? That what? means it would it would be false. That means our statement would be false. It means we have to turn this guy over. Okay, so now let's review. Which two do we have to turn over? The eight and the green. Okay, why do we have to turn over the eight? Because if it's an even number to see if there's red on the other side. Okay, we have to check if there's red on that side. Why do we have to turn over the green? So that if, if there's an even number on the other side, it will be false. Then our statement will be false. This one could make our statement false. If there's an even number on the other side of this green, our statement is false. Why do we not have to turn over this card? The statement doesn't say anything about odd numbers. Okay. If it's an even number, it's true. If, it odd, if it's an odd number, it doesn't say anything about that. Okay, and what about this one? It's, it's already an odd number, so we don't have to turn it over. Okay, so the correct answer is we have to turn over the eight. Go ahead. There's a green on the other side of the eight. Okay, and we have to turn over the green. Three. Okay, so is our statement true or not true? It seems true? to be a, that our statement is false. Why? Because, because for the, this one, there's, the, it just, there should be a red on the other side, but there's a green. But there's a green. Okay, very good. Good job. That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah.